hey, welcome back. And in this video, it's all about how to get your swing working in the proper sequence on the downswing to give you that sweet spot strike and more power. So let's get right into it. When it comes to the sequence of the swing, a lot of players sort of get confused with the terminology uh, right off the bat. So sequence, sometimes they're thinking, is that the, the backswing? Uh, what's happening there? Is the club starting first or is it more sort of a one piece takeaway? Or what exactly is this word sequence all about? Well, in this video, it's really about the sequence in the downswing. So what happens first, second, third, fourth, etc., coming down from the top. And if your swing is out of sequence, meaning once you get to the top, you're whacking at the ball with your arms or sort of chopping at it and moving the arms in the club first, then you will be hitting poor shots, typically never hitting the sweet spot. It just doesn't feel solid. And of course it feels bad on your body. So to get the club working in sequence or the swing in, sweet, in sequence will help you with the consistency you're looking for. And it just feels better. You feel like the swing is more correct. So ideally sequentially from the top, what would happen is that when you're starting the, the downswing, the pressure goes into your feet and you get some leg action like this, you start to get some hip rotation and the arms in the club are getting sort of pulled down last. So sequentially coming from the ground up to the top. So the last thing to move should be the club, the first thing, feet and pressure in the ground. So the correct sequence, we know what it is. And so let's give you a drill, which will really help you understand how to feel the right sequence. And I think drills are great. Now for this drill, I'm gonna start without a golf ball using the Golf Stick Pro to give you the feeling of the movement. So if you do a half swing back and then change direction, you'll be amazed at how much your legs and core wanna get moving to help this process. So if I start here and I go up to about there and then do a full finish, go ahead and go all the way through, you'll notice that my legs and my hips get well ahead of my arms in the club to give me the feeling of what the sequence is. And if I was a player that was out of sequence up here somewhere, I would feel something more like that, where I'm creating this chop motion and my legs are not really doing anything other than holding me up. So ideally, you would start by swinging a club, club without a golf ball or a golf stick pro, or you would be coming up halfway, maybe left arm parallel to the ground, and then go through a pretty full finish to get those legs going. Now, as we ramp that up to the second part of the drill, the second part we, is doing what we call a start forward drill. So we actually start the club in front, which gives me a little momentum coming this way, and then get the legs going. And what that does is it helps me feel a two direction movement, which is really what the golf swing is when you are getting up toward the top. The club and the arms are on their way up as you're turning, and then the legs get moving and it starts to pull everything down. If in your mind the golf swing is just up, down, you'll have a very distinctive change of direction, but that's when players get out of sequence or out of position coming down. We want it to be what's called a two direction motion. So the club is on its way up and then you start the downswing with the legs and hips and everything coming the other direction. If you think about that, a two direction that the club's going up and the legs are going the other way, you will start to feel the sequence changing in there. And by starting the club in front or your training device more in front here, having that momentum can really get you the sensation of this correct sequence. So if we come over here and I make more of a, a bigger swing with this drill like that, as long as I go back pretty short, I can feel that very easily. So then we go from golf stick pro, to golf club and I find that when I first do the drill I'm a little better off hitting off of a low tee. This tee even on the mat here a little taller than I would like on the grass a little shorter but what that does it allows me to hit a little bit more solidly so when you start out start the club in front come back over the ball and then go through and like we said really try to make sure that this backswing length is only maybe halfway back here that's really the goal so make sure it starts here, something like that. And when you come through, you can sense whether you started the downswing by pulling it, like jabbing it with your arms, or whether you really felt there was something happening with this lower body. Let's try that again. So start in front a couple feet out here, coming back over the ball. Definitely got a little more leg work there, a little more pressure down 
and a little more solid strike on it. So once you hit a few solid ones and you kind of feel it working correctly off of a tee, then go ahead and go down to the grass or the mat in this case. Same thing, start it forward and you can start to feel the sequence. You can feel the legs starting to work. You can feel because it's a short swing, I don't have a, really a chance for my old sequence to sort of kick in and pull from the top. That nice short backswing for this drill. And I'm really forced to get these legs moving and get the hips moving. So it's a great drill. Start forward drills, fantastic to be, help you feel the two direction to get that great sequence in the downswing. Now, lastly, we would take that into a full swing. So from there, go ahead and go up maybe three quarters, then a little bit farther, but the same feel as you're going up, as the club gets up about this area, start to feel those legs working. Feel that movement like that. And then hit some shots and slowly work your way up to a full swing because always remember, the habit is going to kick in the closer you get to your old swing or the feeling of your old swing, your old habit is gonna to try to kick in and chab from the top. So we don't want that to happen. So slowly but surely as you're practicing, do the drills with the start forward, then do a normal one here with a half swing, then normal to three quarter, and then finally up into full. And if your swing has been really out of sequence for a long time, you may find you play amazing golf with what feels like a half swing until your buddy videos it and it's actually up here anyway and your sequence kicks in, you start nailing the golf ball and slices are gone and weak hits are gone with what you feel like is a half shot, but it isn't. It's more like three quarters to full, but the sequence is now correct because you've learned that from this more dynamic type of drill versus just sort of a static or positioning drill. If we take a look here at John Rahm, one of the best short golf swings out there on the tour today, we can see as this club gets up to the top here, it's a low camera angle, so it might look like it's farther up than it is, but right up in this area, you can start to see those legs going already. Lower body starting to activate. Left knee moving, right knee moving. And the club definitely still on its way up there when you start to see some movement. And that's what the drill can do, a, a two direction feel. Like a start forward drill will give you that two direction feel so the arms are still on their way up. But with a short swing, it's easier for your body to kick in and work through in the short run to sort of eliminate that old pattern, that old habit. And now with the lower body going while the arms are still on the way up, when the player starts down, here I'm sure he feels like his lower body's turning, his upper body's turning, but the arms and hands aren't doing anything. They're being pulled through and you can just release the club naturally into the ball. But up in this area, the arms are not doing that movement. He is not pulling on the arms there like someone might do if they were out of sequence. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video on how to get your sequence working in the downswing. And if it's your first time here, Please subscribe and if you like the video, hit that like button and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.